it, it is something else. And it's good that, it, that they have uh, people like yourself that are willing to reach out to these uh, students to give them hope. Mm -hmm. Because um, math major, sociology major, sociology. those are great subjects. And those are going to be money subjects <laughs> and, uh, as you as you go out and get out there into the real world and everything else like that. And since you have all these different uh, teachers and mentors to be willing to write letters of recommendation for you and everything else like that, when you go out and it's time to go out and get the big job and everything else. And since we don't have that, since both him and Santa Santa went with the housing market <laughs> instead of building industry, mm -hmm. um, and they both had this warning coming to them already ahead of time that we should start having industry in these cities. That's why we're losing so many different people. And because the new governor and past governors are now making tuition so high, they're wanting the other states are coming to California to grab students to go to their colleges and stuff like that. Yeah. I was watching a women's softball game, which is the reason I was watching it because women play harder than men. And five of the Texas University um, students were from this area, Riverside, Oceanside, San Bernardino, Redlands. And I went, what? And they're playing it for Texas University? Why? And then I found out because of tuition and stuff like that, they've gone to those schools that offer them scholarships and stuff like that. And again, we don't want to lose that from that community. So if you do get your, your jobs and everything else, do you plan to go out into the real world? Not the real world. Leave the country of him in San Jacinto. <laughs> like, I was going to say, welcome, welcome to this country of him. We have our own flag and everything else. And it's, we're separate from the United States because we have different rules for everything else. You know, while driving while brown and stuff like that and all, and all, that, and all that other stuff. <laughs> do, do, do you think when you go out and find out your degrees and everything else, will you try to come back here? Or will you try to make that technology or your sociology or teach math mm -hmm. in, in, the, in this area? Will you try to do that? Or do you think you're going to go ahead and accept, you know, best money, best job, best place? What do you think? Um, I do want to, like, um, branch out and see what there is. But at the same time, I do want to come back at the end of the day mm -hmm. to San Jacinto mm -hmm. and uh, become a professor here at MSJC. Okay. Because um, I felt com I'm comparing um, MSJC to San Bernardino that the teachers are more personal with the students and you can interact with them and you learn a lot more. Well, I think I th the different, real big thing is like you said, the whole personal reaction between mm -hmm. going to a two-year college mm -hmm. versus the big four-year college mm -hmm. where there's 600 people in a, in a 98 class yeah. or, or, or a therapy, well, what, is that, what is it called? Uh, marriage and something else. I can't remember all my sociology classes. But, but you have like... 30 people in a room versus 800 in a room for the same class, you know, you lose that, you lose that type of connection. Mm -hmm. Were you do, thinking about doing the same as coming back, or were you, if you see that ticket somewhere else, New York, wherever, you're gone? I would like to work for government programs, so Washington would be ideal, but I never see myself outside of state, so mm -hmm. I would want to work within California, mm -hmm. closer to the community. It's, I like it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's not a bad community as it is. Like, there's not that much violence compared to other cities. So, um, and then just to see where we grew up and how the next generation is growing up. And then us having us, like, a, a little bit of influence towards them. You know, that's like, you know, I, I help the student or, like, if they recognize us, you know, that's like a... It feels good, like, when I'm tutoring students and they're, like, they tell me thank you, like, for helping them understand, like, a certain problem. Like, it made me feel good. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the reason why, at times, when I'm, when I'm not frustrated with math, mm -hmm. I do want to become a professor, <laughs> you know? Well, like I said, I, I, it is greatly appreciated you, you spend time with me to talk about stuff like this. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you produce and what the students you now that are now in your care right now and what they'll produce. Because you, as a pessimist as myself is, um, I'm trying to give hope that, you know, that we, we will learn and we will uh, help bring back uh, our, our, our heritage back to our communities and build them up and not let it be destroyed or let it, let it, be, let it become corporate, <laughs> you know, lack of a, lack of a better word. Um, that you're going to be out there teaching uh, 
young people and those young people will be teaching other young people and we'll get to keep some of them. I know we might lose a couple, but some of them might stay here and, and work here. And, you know, and I'm glad that you two see that, hey, we're going to hang around here. And uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing to have. You, you've both been a pleasure to interview. Um, my biggest and my last question, um, what has been your... You're, you're, if you had anything that you wanted to say, I don't mean anything you want to say, you know, to the hundreds, maybe thousands of people that might see this, might see this, mm -hmm. what would you have to say? Get involved. 